Time yeah. now to get a check on the roads. News 13's Kimberly Allison joins us in the on time traffic center. Are they on time, Kimberly? Well, Larry, no, I hate to say <laughs> it, but we're seeing a lot of problems in Asheville where a saw truck overturned this afternoon. That's right there at exit 4A. I just got off the phone with APD and they tell me the DOT is now getting involved and picking up debris along the side of the road. As of right now, the ramp is still closed, but we'll let you know as soon as it's reopened. And looking at I-26 westbound, traffic is moving at 22 miles per hour at Patton Avenue, five minutes from Brevard Road to 240 East. And another area to watch out for, I-240 eastbound, two minutes from the 26 ramp to Charlotte Street, moving at 20 miles per hour. That's a look at your on-time traffic brought to you by Carolina Furniture Concepts. News 13's Kimberly Allison joins us in our on-time traffic center. Kimberly. Well, there's a few accidents in Henderson County that are being cleared up but are still causing some problems. There's a wreck on US 64 at Brickyard Road that's right in front of the Etowah Pharmacy. And there's another accident on Howard Gap Road near Upward Road. And I'm still following the cleanup from an earlier accident in Asheville. The ramp from I-26 West to 240 East is still closed. Expect heavy delays on 26 from Brevard Road to the 240 connector. That's a look at your on-time traffic brought to you by Carolina Furniture Concepts. News 13's Kimberly Allison has your afternoon traffic report. Kimberly? Well, Darcel, I finally have some good news about 240 in Asheville. The ramp from 26 West to 240 East is now open, but I did just get off the phone with APD and they say drivers should use extreme caution through the curve because when the saw truck overturned, it spilled oil all over the road. The DOT sanded the area, but with the rain, it's still going to be very slick. 26 westbound is moving slow 20 miles per hour at Patton Avenue and looking at McDowell County troopers are working a wreck on 226 South at Old Glenwood Road that's right near Hall Estates. That's a look at your on-time traffic brought to you by Carolina Furniture Concepts.